Hello and welcome to a Pixel Paragon's PP break. Uh, I'm Andy and I'll be recording a very little bit of Ziggurals. Uh, this is a first person roguelike. Um, if you've ever played something like Hexen before, it's fancy FPS. Yeah. You acquire new stuff as you're going along and you live or die. So, whatever. We're just going to play Zargo, who's the main character with balanced stats. There are other characters we could play as, but we're not playing as them. Because this is just basic get to it and kill things mode. Uh, this is a fantastic game involving suicidal, homicidal carrots. You want to eat the flesh off your face. Right, so here we go. Uh, basic FPS controls. WSDs. I'm playing with a less than optimal mouse. Whoop. Okay, so you always get a first thing. So this is my alternative weapon, okay? Each one of these uses different mana types. So as you can see, I have less mana. Uh, you actually get infinite mana regeneration on the wand. But the wand is shit. So yeah, as you can see up here on the corner, we have uh, dungeon type rooms. Let's delve into them. Sometimes a bit of shit happens in the little corridors, but otherwise we seem to go in the room. Yeah, there you go. Carrots! Run for it, carrots! Well, each enemy drops a thing. Sometimes it's mad, sometimes it's stuff. Amity's our homing rings. Nice. Uh, we can switch over again. And every time you play this game, it spawns completely different rooms. And different stuff always keeps turning up. Uh, all the shit that's dropped has a limited lifespan, so if you don't collect it straight away, it could potentially disappear. There we go. That's it. The entire room is now cleared. We can see by the map it's a closed-in room. There are sometimes cracks in the walls, which lead to secret hidden areas, but I don't think we see any, so... Nah, sometimes barrels include interesting things as well. I think we are, we are clear of cracks in the walls here. Let's go for it. This isn't exactly a speed run, but we're not exactly hanging around either. So yeah, sometimes you'll find new items and items, you'll find cool shit. And down to be someone watching the video later may go, Oh my god, you missed that thing! And that's what happens. Busy, busy. Double busy. Some of these barrels have less than exciting things. Mushrooms! Mushroom, mushroom! But chicken, 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 chicken. Ah! It's fucked up my vision. Yeah, you may notice that health doesn't really regen that much. Now well, we have to switch because we've run out of energy on that one. We've leveled up! Should we level up? Let's get an upgrade. Um, we don't actually have any staffs, I don't think. <laughs> uh, if we get staff mana, green mana, that could be useful. Ah, we got hit by something. No, I think we are crack free again in this room. Right, on to the next one. Eventually, we try to find a boss room. But we need a key to fight the boss. Ah, Banshees, get rid of them. They're horrible. As you progress further and further, each boss gets harder, each level gets harder. Ah, green one, they're slightly harder enemies. Treasure, we like treasure. Okay, so we mm, just wobbling out all we can. Again, probably missing shit, but we gotta get out of here. Uh right, we still got plenty of mana for that. 
jellies. Get dealt with with one big blast. Skellies. Picked up a lot of health drops here because I am not being brilliant to dodge on this ship. Well, we've ended up in a bit of a dead end, but we have upgraded. So, spell mana pool, we'll have a bit more of the blue. Definitely good since we're using blue for this one. Let's try up here then. Ah ha ha ha! Alright, we found the boss room, okay? But as you see, we need the portal key to unleash the boss. So we can come back here. Let's, uh, let's try to actually use the run command now. Get through this a bit quicker. Some barrels we missed. Oh, a bit more of that, thank you. Ah ha! We found secrets. There we go. Thank you very much. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And there's often like a, a hidden lore thing in the game. Carrots. That'll do me. That'll do me. An increase in spell pool is very nice. Well, I could do with an extra weapon. Sometimes you find trap rooms. This is not a trap room. Homing ring should make light work of this lot. Where's the last of them? They're around here somewhere. I can hear them. Ah, carrot! One of the, ah, there's the last one. Ooh, little shit. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, we're doing pretty well for health, I think, so far. I mean, it's only like the start level. It's always easy on the start level. Ooh, a thingy. Very good arsenal before a repair of robust souls. We'll see what they think when they find themselves walking around with endless range of combat. Ah, that's one of the little uh, fragments of knowledge you can pick up. Some of the rooms include gods, which, well, statues to the gods, and you can pray to them. They'll give you a permanent boost for a permanent something. Sometimes it's actually free, sometimes it's, well, it's not free. Like, it costs you like half your health, and you're like, oh god, no, I need that, I need health for being alive. It's kind of important. Mm, okay. That's the portal key. No? Alright, fine. There's usually another treasure of some sort around as well per room. So, let's have a quick check. Ah, no, god room. There we go. That's why I put them. These are the gods. So, can't make an offering to that god. Now, we could offer that potentially. Oh, I think that was health. 20 health. We can try nothing. Let's offer nothing. Ooh. There you go. Sometimes it's just good. Ah, we have a new staff weapon. Very good, very good. Multiple choice weapons. Uh, where's the boss? Off this way, I think. Hello. Oh, hello. You're in my recording, but it doesn't matter because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. We're just playing a bit of cigarette. Hello. Sorry, I bust in on your recording, that So right, we're about to fight the boss. It's going to be great. Oh go, dear. boss. I mean, go, Andy. Sure, you. 
Dragon! <laughs> well, I might as well crash the party and tell you I've just finished recording the second game of, of uh, the Phoenixes ah, um, yes. in my Blood Bowl uh, game. So check that out, guys. And, and uh, who wants to watch this game when you could be watching Blood Bowl? <laughs> this is way better. Although I shall be joining in the Blood Bowl. Yeah, well, I've got one more round now. Uh, and then after that, I think we should start doing some uh, some more we play games. That'd be really good. That's or even good. before that. But I've got two I've got two videos loaded up today, so got some more under rail, which I failed horribly at the end. But that's mm, that's oh the dear. game. I uh, I did, I was doing really well, and I was being really like um, like oh this is how you do this, and you, this is a little tactic you should know, and you can do this and this, and then I fall one rat hand on its own, and I'd forgotten that I had to heal. Um, oh dear, you saw. And I might have died. <laughs> Oops. So yeah, so um, I'm gonna start crashing your party, and then yeah, we're done now. Out. We're done. You can you can. Oh start okay. Off. Well, sorry. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching that very short video and the gate crash at the end. <laughs> Bye. Bye.